and our Colombian athlete, Alvaro Galvez Becerra. 46 years of age and also has a packed program. Five events at these Paralympic Games. Three events for Eckhard Chio. And uh, in this event in London in 2012, the Colombian was in fifth position. So he'll be hoping to better that. This time around at the age of 46, let's see what he can achieve. The Spanish rider off to a great start. We could see just on the corner of our screen before. Let's get an early update on how things are tracking for him. Eckhard Chio. So third and fourth position, they'll be eight, they'll be ramping it up from now, this speed endurance event, 3,000 metres, 12 laps of the velodrome. So Eckhard Chio, just with the, the exertions used, uh, using plenty of the track and racing quite low on the uh, velodrome. And as a result would be losing some ground and time in that waywardness and heading towards the 1000 meter mark we get a really good idea of how these riders compare and also the times compared to the others so we've got the Colombian Galvez Pacheta 120.252 and that will be the second fastest time for the group and he leads Eckhard Chio here by 2.2 seconds with Eckhard Chio going through the 1,000 metre sectional in 122.452. So we may see about, uh, Galvis Pachera able to catch his opponent here in the closing stages of this race. We're just coming up to the halfway mark. We'll have an update for you at the, again at the 2,000 metre mark with the overall standings. 3,000 in total that they're riding, but the Colombian has now edged into the quickest position thus far. He's having a great ride here. It's been uh, a sprightly start from the Colombian, no doubt about that. We are looking at is 238.285 set by Koblasa of the... So Czech the time that we're Denver interested in for the 2,000 metre mark is Koblasa's time of 238.285 from Czech Republic. Now, we'll see where the Colombian sits compared to that. 2,000 metres about to be clocked. And it's going to be faster. 234.606 for Galvis Pachera. So he is now, if he can continue this, he will be the fastest rider out of the six we've seen. And he is looking very comfortable and very strong. It is a good performance. He's ramping it up. You can see he's been increasing speed throughout the laps here. Will it be enough to overtake Eckhard Chio? So Chio doing enough to be in third position, so he's really staying in contention. He needs to stay in touch. We still have four quality riders to come if he wants to be in the hunt for a medal later on day two. Yes, well, we have the world record holder, the Paralympic record holder in Leung Wai Wei to race us with his presence. So we can assume that the race is on for spots for second, third and fourth. So here we go, the finish for Galvez Pacheta. Well, what a strong finish. So we haven't got a final time there. We've just got to mm, It looks as though we've had an issue with the timing. That's all right. They will back it up with a manual finish as well. 